My name is Rosamond Mutton and I am a doctoral researcher at Lancaster University conducting research into gender and violent extremism. Specifically, I study the variety of ways in which women participate in extremist groups and explore the multiple factors that influence and frame this engagement. By extremist group, I am referring to terrorist, revolutionary and guerrilla groups with a range of ideological perspectives, organisational structures and internal cultures. As such, my research has so far analysed the various types of roles performed by women in the so-called Islamic State, the Irish Republican Army, the IRA, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, or the Tamil Tigers, and Auskadi Ta Asgatasuna, most commonly known as ETA. The aim of my research is to assess the extent to which female participation in violent extremism is influenced by external pressures on the group, a group's organisational structure and ideology, the character and purpose of a role and individual female performance. Comparing these factors draws attention to the diversity of female participation within and between groups, as well as to the multiple types of activities women engage with. So far, I have found that roles are shaped by how the group conceptualises the role and the way individual women perform it. These are in turn informed by the specific functions that roles enable, such as state building, and the purpose it serves for the group. Consequently, there is a qualitative difference in female performance of roles that has not been referred to in previous academic research. This research is important because it has the potential to inform domestic and international policy making, Current security policies rarely consider women to pose potential threats, thus aiding extremist groups by increasing the benefit gained by the group in deploying women. By offering a better understanding of how female participation in violent extremism varies within and between groups, involving multiple different role types and performances, this could result in a reconsideration of what constitutes active involvement in a group. Furthermore, it could impact how security agencies perceive women as security threats, shaping their reactions and the type of preventative measures that might be required to address this threat and consequently resulting in the security policy being revised to better meet the threat posed by women. To find out more about my research, please visit the CREST website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk. To find out more about my research, please visit the CREST website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk.